Hey everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the collective for February 17th, 2020. I'm sorry this is coming out a little bit late. Um, I got caught up doing some of my other readings and um, just with life in general, so I apologize this is coming out late, but um, I hope you guys forgive me. I know that you will. You guys are awesome. Again, I just want to thank you guys for all of your love and support on my channel. It really means the world to me, and I'm just going to give you a quick... Um, I'm just going to give you guys, or ask you guys to very quickly just give this uh, video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell, and let's get to it. So I'm using the After Tarot, which takes the regular Rider weight images and um, shows what would happen, you know, right after uh, that image. So some of these cards, you know, you might get, I might get sort of non-traditional, like give sort of a non-traditional reading. Um, and you know the intuitive hits are slightly different than what you might be what you might be used to hearing So just FYI, okay, all right, let's go ahead and get into this What messages do we have for the collective for all signs? All right, so again guys take what resonates leave what doesn't and I hope you guys are checking out um, I've added new content to the site. I'm doing um I'm going to be doing waxing and waning moon readings, so you guys will get weekly readings, but they're just, they're not your average, you know, the 1st through the 7th, or, you know, the 8th through the 14th, you know, it's going to be based on the cycles of the moon, so do go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Getting an interesting read on that Nine of Cups in reverse, but let's go ahead and take a look at the overall energy. The overall energy here is the tower in reverse. This is you not letting something go, um, not willing to go through with the whole transformation, putting up blocks um, to, you know, leaving someone or letting a relationship that's over, letting it end. Okay, the tower in reverse could be that you're picking up the pieces after a tower moment, but more than anything, I'm getting that you're not willing, you're not, you're, you are blocking from what this tower moment, whatever it is in where work, romance, um, health, whatever love relationship, you know, friends, um, whatever relationship or situation this is, you're not having it. And spirits like it's time to let go. It's time to let this tower fall. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't healthy for you or the other people involved. Maybe you asked for it, but now that the ball has gotten rolling and it's actually happening, you're trying to put on the brakes. Underneath that, we do have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy in the reverse. You know, he's somebody who's very narcissistic, somebody very abusive. So for some of you, it could have been, you could have been involved with a person like that. And spirits like, you know, let this relationship end. There may have been interference. It could have been divine interference, um, but it will be for your greatest good. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. This is somebody being so wrapped up in their sadness and their sorrow. Um, it's really, you know, worried about this loss. Somebody in the background is coming down that river and they're going to be swept off, but you can't even tell because you're so focused on what you're losing. This is in reverse. So spirits like let this tower fall. No matter how hard it might be, it's going to be really the best thing for you because what is it going to bring you? This Six of Swords energy. This is you moving on to a bigger, better, more peaceful, more serene, a better life, a better place, a better job. For some of you, that King of Swords is somebody that you're involved with in a relationship. It could be a, a paternal. It doesn't have to be ma a male energy though. Remember, it's just energies. It's not male or female. Or it could also be a boss. Okay, um, or it could be a partner of some kind or somebody who's just sort of gotten mean. Um, the King of Swords is in an abusive, verbally and or physically abusive energy. So interestingly, your first card out is this Nine of Cups energy. Um, in the after tarot, you can see that he's bringing, you know, he's being brought this huge feast. But this is showing up in the reverse. And I feel like whatever you wished for, again, you I think you kind of wanted this tower to fall. 
and now that it's falling, you're trying to put on the brakes. Whatever you ordered, this waiter, right, this person is bringing it to him, and he's kind of like picking through it like, ugh, but I didn't want these kinds of potatoes, or oh, I don't eat meat, or, you know, and I feel like, you know, this is a real necessity, like real really, really important that you guys be careful what you wish for. Okay. Um, now I think also what you wish for and what is for your highest good is that this tower falls. Spirit is telling me that very loud and clear that this tower needs to fall. This situation needs to come to an end. Okay. And it's something that you may have wished for or manifested. And right now I feel like you're backpedaling. And now that it's happening, either you can't believe it or you're like, I didn't want it. I didn't want it like this, but spirit saying, Oh, it's so good for you. This, you know, once you let this tower fall, okay, that, you know, things are, you're going to see that things are going to fall in place. You're going to deal much better than you think you can with these changes. That's what the Wheel of Fortune card is telling us, okay? So again, I do get that be careful what you wish for, but more than anything, I feel like you, whatever you're getting right now is something that you thought you wanted, Spirit agreed and they're bringing it to you and you're just sort of backpedaling and Spirit's like, let it happen. This is the best case scenario. Um, it might not feel good right now. It might make you nervous. It might trigger some feelings of fear and anxiety. Um, it might be unpleasant with this King of Swords in reverse. There might be arguing. There might be a lot of tension. Okay, but ultimately it's going to, you know, the wheel is going to turn in your favor and this is the best thing for you. We do have the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. She has this amazing cup. She's somebody who's been through really, really hard times. She um, She's holding on to this cup, which is everything that's dear to her, her family, her children, her pets, her home, her job, her sense of security, um, her balance, her reputation, everything, right? But what's going on is when she's in the reverse, all of these emotions and all of this balance is coming out. So it could be that this is going to be very emotional, but more than anything, I'm getting with that King of Swords energy, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that you might be dealing with, they're going to be also putting on, they're going to be pulling out all the stops. And it's a really, really asking me, telling you to be careful about emotional manipulation. This is somebody who's unbalanced. This is their masculine and feminine sides are completely turned upside down. Again, you might feel like this is you. You might be reacting to a situation that you were manifesting and you're like, whoa, why am I reacting like this? I feel like some of you are even thinking and even have said to yourself, like, this isn't me. Sometimes you say things or you're reacting in a way that you say, oh, I would never do this. This is not who I am, you know, and we've all been there. But for a large majority of you, it's the person or the situation that you're dealing with and spirit saying they're going to turn on the waterworks. They're going to go into that emote. They're going to be very jealous. They're not going to want to let you go. I feel like they're really holding on to you for dear life. They don't want you to leave the, them or the situation or the job. And you have to really watch out for that. You have to really watch out for the things that they're saying. Spirit's also kind of telling, telling me to tell you to ignore that. Try to see above that. Try to see the bigger picture. Then we have the Justice card in reverse, which is Libra energy. This Justice card, again, look, this could be some sort of something that I feel like the other person is saying this isn't fair. Some of you might be at work and it might be a coworker or somebody that you thought was a friend and you guys were both up for the same promotion and you got it and now you're kind of wishing that you didn't but it is ultimately the best for you and this person is just laying it on thick, the emotional manipulation um, and, and they're really coming into this victim mentality that you were chosen uh, because they like you better or because you're prettier. I feel like they're even even saying things behind your back, might even be slandering your name, saying things that you got this job because you're sleeping with the boss or, you know, you do special favors or something like that. And if it's not in a work situation, you guys, I'm really getting that hit that also if it's a separation between you and a romantic partner, that they're going to be telling you things like, oh, you were cheating on me. There's a lot of gaslighting going on. Um, or they're just sort of starting to invent that, you know, you've been sleeping with so-and-so or they always knew it. But just 
just sort of making up all of these lies and trying to make you feel really, really bad. Spirit is saying though, with this 10, with this, with this wheel of fortune card, with this energy, that it's really the best thing for you. You're going to have to wade through these murky waters. It's not going to be easy. But this justice card, this is in reverse because, you know, things, you know, it, it's not that things are unfair, but I'm getting next to this Queen of Cups that somebody's saying or feeling like it's really unfair. Some of you might feel like it's really unfair that I have to go through this when something really good is happening to me. This is what I wanted, but it's not happening the way that I wanted it, okay? Because you are receiving some sort of emotional blackmail, um, manipulation, you know, people are being like really overly dramatic. Point is, you have to let this tower fall. You've got to keep going. You've got to do what you've got to do. And it may seem unfair. You might feel like, why am I going through this? Remember, it's just probably a test. It's just, a, you know, it's something that you had to learn maybe even about this person so that you can leave them in the past or that you can just move forward so you can just focus on yourself, okay, at this time. Um, I'm going to pull additional messages from Spirit for the collective, February 17th, 2020. Okay, and I feel like this reading is definitely a little bit bigger than just today. All right, so additional messages for the collective, February 17th, 2020. First one out is change of mind. Exactly. That's what I was saying. This is something you wished for. And I feel like you just didn't, now that it's happening, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want this to happen. I wish I'd never asked for this. Spirit is asking you to have the strength. Don't change your mind. Okay. What's done is done. What's started. This tower has started to fall. Don't stop now. Okay. And definitely don't kill yourself trying to run back in. Okay. Or trying to hold up the foundation or trying to patch it up. You know, spirit saying, don't change your mind. And I feel like that's, you know, or this is what you wish for, but it's not happening the way you wanted it. So you're just kind of like, I wish it had never happened at all. Spirit saying, don't anchor yourself in that energy. You have to go with it. Take flight. Exactly. This is it. Go with it. Take flight. See the bigger picture. This is all about moving up, upwards and onwards, away from something that was really negative, something that was toxic. You have to let it happen. Okay. It's already started. And once you do, again, I'm just getting, there's so much so much um, good that's going to come from you. And this might be very difficult, but you're going to see in hindsight that it was the right thing for you to do. Okay, and then finally here we have immunity. I love this. For some of you, you guys might be involved in a court case. I'm getting that some of you guys, you know, with justice in reverse and immunity, I'm getting like somebody testifying. You may have been offered immunity or somebody was offered immunity for their testimony and you're feeling like this is not fair you know, they deserve to be punished for their crimes or somebody is saying that of you, okay? But this immunity card spirit is really coming out with it and saying, you know what? You guys are going to be okay. I've got your back. It doesn't feel like it right now. I know you want to backpedal. I know this tower coming down is terrifying, but you know what, you guys? You're going to be just fine, okay? You're going to be just fine, um, I'm going to actually pull a Queen of the Moon Oracle for you just for additional messages for the collective, February 17th, 2020. It's the first time I'm using these in uh, one of these readings here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and see what additional messages we have for the collective, Sun, Sun Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, <laughs> I'm on autopilot apparently. Um, additional messages for the collective, February 17th, 2020. Okay, we get self-reflection, number 17. All right, waning gibbous. All right, we might still be in waning gibbous as I'm speaking. It might be right now, but you can, I'll double check and see. Or we might have just moved past that. Okay, and then we have attraction. We have the super moon. We have number 44. This is a master number. Okay, so the self-reflection card, I feel like this is you doing a lot of that shadow work. When we are in the waning gibbous stage or when we're in that fourth quarter moon phase right after the full moon, it's a great time to do the shadow work. And spirit is really asking you to do that. 
take, you know, take stock of things that you've manifested, what you asked for. Okay. And then take stock of, you know, what's working for you and what isn't and really dig deep. And I think when you do dig deep, you're going to see, well, no matter what this, what, no matter how I'm feeling right now, things are actually working out in my favor and I might feel bad. It might not feel great at this time, but you know what, this is what's happening and this is what you have to go for. Okay, and it's ultimately it's for your greatest good. Now, number 44, this is a um, this is a master number, and it's all about the material world, about grounding, building through perseverance, and focusing on the task at hand. And this is all about attraction, the super moon. So again, I feel like this is something that you guys have manifested. Spirit is asking you to persevere. It has something to do with your material world as well. It could be with, I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to resonate with your job, something going on at work or with a nasty boss or a nasty coworker or something like that. For others of you, it's going to be in a relationship and it may have been a long-term relationship that you now have to sort of, you know, split up your assets and that sort of thing. All right. I'm just going to pull one final advice card for the collective for February 17th, 2020. What final advice do you have for the collective February 17th? 2020. Okay, here you go. You have epiphany, seek clarity. Yep, this whole reading is all about that. I think you feel like you're fogged in. Okay, again, what you wished for is coming true, but maybe not the way that you wanted it to, even to the point where you're like, I wish I had, I wish that it, this had never happened. But remember, evolution, in order to evolve emotionally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, whatever it might be, you have to change. And you've already, the ball has already started. This tower is coming down, whether you like it or not. And spirits like get on board because it's going to be a very positive change for you. Okay. You are going to feel like things are unfair. I feel like some people are saying that, you know, you're not being fair or this situation is, you know, is unfairly weighted in your favor, but spirits like don't change your mind. Okay. You've got to see the big picture. This isn't this is an up leveling. This is something that's really good for you. And no matter what people are saying, no matter what people are doing, you've got immunity. For some of you, this is going to resonate exactly with some sort of trial, some sort of something having to do with the justice system, and somebody was offered immunity. You might feel like that wasn't fair. It's really time, you know, to do that shadow, shadow work, get the big picture. You are attracting this. This is something you're manifesting. So try to see things as clearly as possible. You are going to to have an epiphany, that aha moment that's going to, you know, help you feel like, ah, okay, all of this happened for a reason and for my highest good. Trust me on that, you guys. All right. I love you so much. Thank you for all of your patience. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I just want to thank you guys for listening and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day.